सर इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी कवर्ड वेरी क्लियरली व्हाट इज एक्सेप्शन व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ एक्सेप्शन हैंडलिंग एंड व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एक्सेप्शन हैंडलिंग सर नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक एज द पार्ट ऑफ एक्सेप्शन हैंडलिंग वी हैव टू डिस्कस अ रन टाइम स्टैक मैकेनिज्म व्हाट इज दिस वन सर कैन यू प्लीज स्पेल आउट रन टाइम स्टैक मैकेनिज्म सर एक्चुअली इफ यू हैव आईडिया अबाउट द दिस स्टैक्स in the future exception handling concepts you can understand very easily of course this one not talks about direct exception handling but having this knowledge is a highly recommended the remaining exception handling terminology you can easily you can able to understand right okay well sir now for every i have one program is there assume that i have one java program is there in that java program there may be a chance of multiple thread threads multi threaded multiple threads are there but every java program contain at least one thread what is that thread main thread i hope you people may have idea main thread every java program contain at least one thread that thread is main thread now for every thread jvm will create one run time stack remember this one for every thread jvm will create one run time stack assume that this is the run time stack of this t1 this t1 or main thread or some for every thread jvm will create one run time stack every method call performed by thread every method call because this t1 may execute m1 this t1 may execute m2 or main method like each and every method call performed by this t1 performed by t1 one entry will be saved inside the corresponding stack regarding for every method call one entry will be stored inside a stack this entry is called stack frame this entry is called stack frame or or activation record regarding this entry is called one stack frame or activation record okay like sir once uh, assume that t1 calls m1 m1 oh t1 calls m1 compulsory one entry will be stored in the stack once uh, m1 completed once m1 completed now the corresponding entry from the stack will be removed remember this one once uh, that method call will be completed now the corresponding entry from the stack will be removed are you able to understand after completing all method calls now this thread is going to terminate before terminating this thread the corresponding empty stack will be destroyed by java virtual machine jvm is the responsible to destroy this empty stack jvm is the responsible to create empty stack at the beginning jvm will destroy this empty stack right sir observe are you able to understand just let me use the terminology of course once i explain with an example then you can easily you can able to understand right sir now for every thread jvm will create one stack every method call performed by that thread one entry will be stored in the stack once that method call execution completes automatically that entry by default will be removed from the stack once the stack is empty all method calls completed now this empty stack will be destroyed by jvm any doubt all the people are in a position to understand right sir let me go for a small chota example then you can get much clarity right observe very carefully sir assume i have one class test sir i have class test is there assume this class test contain public static void main method string array arc public static void main method string array arc now this main method is calling do stop method main method is calling which method sir do stop do stop method now public static void do stop public static void do stop do stop this do stop internally calls do more stop this do stop internally calls do more stuff okay well now now public static void do more stuff public static void do more stuff okay inside do more stuff 
system dot out dot print elan print elan hello hello like i took sir a simple program here how many methods are there main method do stuff do more stuff main method internally calls do stuff do stuff internally calls do more stuff do more stuff just a print sop of hello okay well now my question is take very special case sir in this program how many threads are there your respond friends how many how many threads are there in this program only one thread main thread that's all because i didn't create any child threads on so on every java program by default contain one thread what is that threads are main thread now for main thread for every thread jvm will create jvm will create one empty stack for every thread jvm will create one one stack one run time stack sir this is the run time stack of main thread remember this sir who who creates this one jvm is the responsible to create this run time stack now can you please tell main thread which method will be called by the main thread first first which method what is the first method which is executed by main thread main thread is always responsible to call main method remember this one sir which thread which thread is going to execute main method main 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 thread main thread sir so for every method a call performed by main thread one entry will be stored remember now main method main method will be called by main thread that's why for this method a call one entry will be one entry will be stored in the corresponding stack okay one entry one entry will be stored in the stack now yatha part of main yatha part of main method sir it is calling do stuff are you getting do stuff again do stuff will be executed by main thread only because only one thread every method call will be executed by main now yatha part of main method sir do stuff method it is calling that's why for this do stuff method one entry will be stored in the corresponding stack are getting do stuff also stored in the corresponding stack okay now the control came to do stuff sir but at the part of do stuff at the part of do stuff now it is calling do more stuff are getting at the part of do stuff now it is calling what the do more stuff okay remember now sir it is also a method call for this method call also one entry will be stored inside a stack do more stuff are you getting one entry will be stored inside a stack this is entry is called do more stuff now the control came to do more stuff observe very carefully sir sir inside do more stuff just the sop of hello is there are you getting sop of hello that's why what output by default we are going to get hello is the answer okay well sir after printing sop of hello hello is uh, this do more stuff completed or not please confirm this do more stuff completed or not yes once uh, if any method a call execution completed now the corresponding entry will be removed from the stack now which is the corresponding entry sir do more stuff will be removed from the stack okay removed from the stack now once this one completed now the control will goes to do stuff because do more stuff method call completed now no other thing is there to continue that's why do stuff is also completed once do stuff completed remove the corresponding entry from the stack okay jvm will remove the corresponding entry from the stack sir now sir control goes to control goes to main main inside main other than do stuff call nothing is there that's why main method is also completed if the main method completed now the corresponding entry will be removed from the stack have you observed right now can you please guide the sir now the stack will become empty my main thread main method is also completed nothing there to execute that's why just the before terminating main thread jvm will destroy this a empty stack are you getting this empty stack will be destroyed by jvm are you getting so this is what you people should be aware which is nothing but runtime stack mechanism 
clear for all of it what is the meaning of runtime stack mechanism okay so for every thread jvm will create a separate stack separate stack every method call performed by the thread one entry will be stored in the corresponding stack once that method execution completed the corresponding entry will be removed sir after completing all method calls now the stack will become empty before terminating the thread jvm will destroy the corresponding stack this mechanism is nothing but one runtime stack mechanism next each entry in the stack is called activation record activation record or stack frame are you getting activation record or stack frame each entry is called activation record or stack frame is it clear any explanation is required about runtime stack mechanism of course you may ask sir why you are covering the other part of exception handling because if you can understand this one the remaining concepts of exception handling you can easily understand sir because it is the base for remaining topics of exception handling clear